coming to you from, well, the warmth of my bedroom because it's cold outside. And I decided to take a day off from hunting and from work and everything and just veg out today. So I thought, man, I should put my little snippets of uh, videos that I've been doing. They have no rhyme or reason. Just, you know, cold day kind of thing. And, uh, well, enjoy. Here's the close-up of the fat wood we found look at that it is just like beautiful beautiful i mean all the way through look at this look at this chunk right here wow iowa fat wood that's right look at that one look how red how dark that is all the way that through that chunk we haven't processed this one yet, but that's some of the ones we've already processed. So a little bit more over there. Oh, we got them in baggies over here. Right, let me flip that over. Look at that. Beautiful, beautiful fat wood. Hey, BJ, this is Brenda's impression of you doing a goose call. Ready? Yep. Get your asses down here! <laughs> Brenda! Brenda! What? What are you doing? Uh, I have some water. Alright, Brenda's got a pitcher of hot water. We're gonna try this hot water experiment to see if it's cold it's enough good. to turn it into yeah. dust. Go! <laughs> <laughs> Who knew she was gonna pour it all over herself? <laughs> Only me. Only me. <laughs> yeah, saving that video. <laughs> yeah, that experiment sucks. <laughs> hey, it did go out in a cloud a little bit until I stopped to come get a picture of you. <laughs> okay, so oh, it did work. Try it again. <laughs> One more try. <laughs> Surprise! I'm not an icicle yet. Bye, Brenda. Bye. Well, I hope you guys liked that little tidbit, but I wanted to take a moment to uh, thank each and every one of you for uh, allowing me into your homes and just, you know, welcoming me to this YouTube community. You guys have been nothing but awesome to me. Your comments have been great. Um, I want to thank you for your subscriptions, your likes, your views, and, you know, everything. You guys just have just been so great, but I think I'm getting hungry. You guys getting hungry? Let's go cook something. Hi folks, back in my kitchen. And today we are gonna cook up some farm fresh roosters. Now roosters are tough, especially when they're straight from the farm. So I thought about it and thought about it and I decided let's make curry rooster. Cause the coconut milk will help soften it up. So let's get started so let's go over our ingredients like i always do we got here chopped small onion just you know sliced up we have our ginger right here 
We have, I uh, believe, three cloves of garlic. You guys know garlic, so. Kafer lime leaf. Oh, I love this stuff because it smells so heavenly. We have four chilies. Now, the misconception, I'm going to tell you guys something about the misconception about chilies. People usually pick them when they're red. Did you guys know that it's not as hot when they're red? They're hottest when they start turning yellowish orange. So pick if you like them hot, that's when you should pick them. What else do we have? Ooh, we have some snow peas. I love snow peas. And then we have some bamboo shoots from a can because we don't live in tropical climate. We have some coconut milk. All right. And awesome lemongrass. So let's get this thing started. We're going to first turn this on high. Oh, I forgot one more ingredient. Let me go grab it. The famous oyster sauce. <laughs> we can't forget the oyster sauce. Okay, so we turn this on high. We're going to oil our pan because roosters are very lean. Most farm fresh animals are lean. So, first we're going to put in there. Oh, shoot. We got the chicken that I cleaned and already cut up. So, it's already in here, ready to go. We're going to wait for that to heat up a little bit. So, while I'm waiting, I'm going to slice some. I hope you guys can see that. Slice some. Oh, did I show you guys some lemongrass? Well, here's some lemongrass. Lemongrass is very, very fibrous. Yeah, almost there. Alright. That's that. Oh, and then for the snow peas, you know it's easiest. Just grab yourself a handful and then you line them up on one side, take your pair of scissors, clip one end off, then line it up on the other side, and clip the ends off. How easy was that? Oh, I feel the heat from that. So, I'm gonna start with the chicken. You hear that sizzle? Oyster sauce. 
that way it won't burn in the bottom, okay? Now, once this starts to boil again, you gotta wait for it to boil to come back. Can you see that? Go look at that. Now we'll add the curry. because it does usually separate. So when she... Now the coconut milk is just gonna make it even softer. Look at that. So you're gonna let this reduce but you can go ahead and add your your um, bamboo shoots. You will wait for the for the uh, for the peas though, because you don't want to overcook that. The bamboo, since it's so fibrous, it'll it'll hold. It won't get you know. All right, so. With that in there, we are going to go ahead and now put our peppers in. And I put them in whole because the curry is already spicy. I just put those peppers in for myself because I, I just love the heat. So with that in there, we're going to cook it for another half an hour. And then we'll put the peas in. After the peas get cooked for about... Mm, five to seven minutes, then we'll plate up, okay? So five minutes ago, I decided, you know what? I want some potatoes in my curry. So I cut up, a, I cut up three potatoes and put it in five minutes ago. Now, the snow peas go in. Stir this back up. Oh yeah. So, like I said, five to seven minutes, and then we're gonna plate this up. Well folks, it is now done, and I already plated it up with some rice. Look at that. Does that look beautiful or what? Anyways folks, let me tell you a little something. When you guys are cooking it rice, let me give you a little hint. If you take some chicken seasoning or pork, whatever seasoning you like best, put it in that rice while it's cooking and that flavor will permeate into the rice and you won't have just some plain Jane rice to eat. So let's see if this came out tender. Oh well, yeah, oh well, sure did. Mm. Fantastic. All right, folks, thanks for watching, and I'll see you real soon. You guys thought it was over, but look who got home from work on time to be my taste tester. All right, babe, go ahead. I hope they know what I'm tasting. Oh, by the way, Brenda hates curry, and she hates tough chicken.
What do you think? Is the chicken real tough? Mm -mm. Good. And the curry? It's got some kick to it. <laughs> but other than that, now that dark piece was chewy. Okay. Well, yeah, it usually is. What? Yep, not bad. All right. Pretty good. How many thumbs up? One or two? Only one. Oh. All right, folks. Thanks for watching.